Hey friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you two things. One, I'm going to be making tassels, so I'm going to show you how to do that if you haven't made them before or if you haven't seen my other videos on how to make them, it's super easy. And two, I'm going to be putting them onto a quilt that I've been working on. So I've been sewing this quilt for a while now and slowly going in and adding in all the little detailing um, like this, but the edges of the quilt are done. And so I'm, I'm really just adding in that stuff, which I'm, I'm just slowly gonna do over time. So I wanted to go ahead and put tassels on the edges of it. I've never put tassels on a quilt before, and I just kind of had that idea pop into my head and I thought it would be fun to see how it looks. So I'm excited to try it out and yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. I got this yellow yarn, which I think is gonna look really nice with the colors in the quilt. So all you're gonna do, whatever yarn you're using, I'm going with one a little bit thinner this time. You're going to get a book and I'm also using a fairly small book because I want my tassels to be smaller. So depending how big the book is will determine the size of your tassel. So you're just gonna take the yarn and start wrapping it around the book. And I honestly did not count how many times I wrap it, but I keep doing it until it's pretty dense. And then every time that I make another one, I just, I do it so it looks about the same amount as the previous one that I did. And so you'll just wrap, wrap, wrap. And once you have it to the amount that you want, you can see that it's kind of raised a little bit. So there's a good amount of yarn wrapped around there. The more yarn that you wrap, the denser your tassel will be. So I'm going to cut that and now I'm going to cut another strand that is just a short length that this is going to be the top piece. So it depends like what you're tying it on, how long you might want that to be. I'm going to slide it under all of the yarn that I just wrapped and tie it right in the middle and then I'm going to double knot it. Tie this as tight as you can um, because this is the very top point of your tassel and it will just look a little bit better if you can tie a really tight knot for that part. Once you have your knot, then you're going to slide it off of the book. This can be a little tricky depending how tight you wrapped it. So if you're using a paperback book, you can always bend the book a little bit and it will pop off a little easier. You can also cut it while it's still on the book, but I prefer to slide it off so I can really make sure that my cut is centered. So then you're gonna have this loop. What I do is I take it and I stretch it out between my fingers like this so that it's equal on both sides and it's tight. And then I take my scissors and I just pull tight and I wanna cut through all of those bottom pieces. Once I do that, then I'm going to straighten it all out and kind of um, mess with it so that it's no longer divided in half and it just becomes kind of one big piece hanging down. And then the last step is we're just going to take one more piece of yarn. We're going to cut this one a little bit longer than that top piece so that way it, when it hangs down, it's the length of the other tassel pieces. We're going to put it towards the top. I would say about a fourth or a third um, down and then you're going to tie around the whole thing and tie that tight and that will give you that final look of the tassel. And I always double knot this as well just to make it really secure. Once you've done that you might have a strand hanging down from where you just tied. So we're going to trim that off as well as trim some of the little pieces that are a little bit longer to make it more even. This is up to you if you like the way it looks and you wanna leave it, you totally can, but I like to clean up the bottom a little bit. I don't need it to be perfectly straight across every single piece, but just, you know, giving the length a fairly equal look. And after you've trimmed that off, then you are good to go. So that is how you make a tassel. It's actually very easy. Um, for my quilt, I am planning to make 
10 of these yellow tassels and then I'm also going to do 8 of an off-white tassel. So I'm going to work on making the rest of those. Okay, so next I am going to work on sewing these onto the quilt. I am just going to do the two shorter sides. And so I'm just taking a large needle and pulling it through. And then I'm going to wrap it around the back and bring it to the front and tie it on. And then I'm going to equally space the rest of them out and... I might leave that little string on after I tie it, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to go along and put each one of them on the edge. I love the way that this has turned out. I love the tassels on it. I think it gives it such a cool texture and character and I like the added color and I don't know I just I think it's really unique and I would definitely definitely do it again. Um, I'm really happy that I decided to add this piece to this quilt. So I hope that you enjoyed and hopefully the quilt will be completely finished soon with all the detailing and stuff but for now it's in a good spot and I yeah I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon